Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to Zombieland Headshot Fever. I'm playing today on my Oculus Quest. So, we're here today to take a look at Zombieland Headshot Fever, and I'm here specifically to share my entries into the Zombieland Headshot Fever Quest for the Best Content Creator Tournament. So, the way this works is myself as well as a bunch of other vr content creators uh, were invited to be in this tournament and we are to play through the first three levels of the game and log the best times so what kind of game is this well essentially it's a speed run rail shooter it's a zombie shooter and it's got interesting mechanics it's got some strategy involved so I'll explain all of that as we go along so basically the main gameplay mechanic as okay. you work your way through these Why levels are you just staring at me is to you want to add to your adrenaline meter and you do that by killing zombies in certain ways or with certain weapons and what happens as your adrenaline meter rises time slows down and again the the basis of the game is speed running so if you can slow down the clock you can really shorten your time and this becomes very helpful what happened to the word fun when did it go from exceptional to just okay well this is fine so basically uh you know it seems like a pretty straightforward uh concept only there is a lot of strategy involved and the strategy comes from the weapons loadout as well as the perks so different weapons have different abilities and instead of playing through these early levels and trying to log the best times with the early weapons that you get I took the approach of playing through the entire game unlocking all the weapons and all of the perks so that I may use them so uh, basically uh, what my main strategy was here was to use mm. this revolver like along with this shotgun some the reason why this is helpful the older handguns in the game uh, you have to shoot zombies twice to add your adrenaline meter but with the revolver you only have to do it once now there is a downside a trade-off and that is you only have a magazine of seven that's where this guy comes in. This is a shotgun with a six shot capacity. And the special ability of the shotgun is any shot adds to your adrenaline meter. So you don't even have to kill the zombie. As long as you land the shot with this, your adrenaline meter rises and time continues to slow down. So my basic strategy here is one shot kills, dual wielding, always keeping a gun reloaded and ready to go so that we can string kill to kill to kill all the way front to back in the level and get the lowest time that I can. Now what about perks? Well perks give you any number of different abilities. Some help you with progressing in the game, others help you with the leaderboard. Obviously this is a leaderboard competition so I selected my perks accordingly. Um, we started with the focus perk, which allows you to stay adrenalized between fights. Basically, this lets you carry your adrenaline from room to room, and this is completely necessary if you're chasing the leaderboard. So as a secondary perk, in two out of the three levels, I basically took the ammo sack perk, which gives me an extra clip for my shotgun, and this was very helpful. Uh, but in the second level, I did choose a different perk, and we will explain why when we get there. But uh, I guess we should show some gameplay, right? Let's show the runs and uh, how I did. So uh, basically, nothing to say, honey? Good. Basically, we're running these first three levels, Gas and Gulp, New Guy's House, and Junkyard. And... Uh, We'll start here with this one. This actually happens to be the best time I got on any of the levels. 16 seconds. Uh, pretty dang good if you ask me. How did I do it? Well, let's check it out and see.
go crazy. Plus me. Remember to sanitize. Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash them till they're clean. Scrub the bottom, scrub the top, and the Z-blood in between. All right, so that was Gas and Gulp, my, my best round out of the three, I think. But actually, I, I mean, none of them were too bad. The next run we, uh, we're going to look at is New Guy's House. And this is the one where I changed the loadout up just a little bit. You see, this level has a special zombie type in it called a homer. And they are these big, fat, slow zombies that get in your way, and if you shoot them, you get a five second penalty on your time, which is, you know, devastating in a competition like this. So how do we deal with that? Well, we went over to the loadout. You look like you've been ate by a wolf and shit over a cliff. Thanks, buddy. And I, I changed my perk number two to this Homer Run perk. And what the Homer Run perk does is it turns these big fat Homer zombies into normal guys. So you no longer have to avoid hitting them. Instead, you wanna hit them. It, they help you keep your combo alive. They add adrenaline to your meter. Uh, it, it was very useful in this level Can we to be able to shoot those guys. Blood types? And uh, just in as case. we're gonna uh, see right now. So let's- uh, Can't even, Ugh, fuck this. I know, right? So uh, let's take a look at New Guy's House, and you guys can uh, see exactly what I'm talking about here with the uh, with the change in strategy. All right, so that was New Guy's House, and that brings us to our third and final level, Junkyard. So we had uh, 16 for the first level, 16 seconds, 22 seconds for the second level. What do we do on the third? 23, not so shabby, huh? Anyway, let's take a look at how that went down, and uh, Aww, we'll summarize cute. when we get back. Can I shoot it?
Well, there you have it. Three levels up and three levels down. A big thank you to our good friend GT and the good folks at XR Games for inviting me to take part in this competition. Anyway, uh, it's the best I could do uh, with the time that I had to put into it. I, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I don't, I don't know how many other people entered this or what their times are. Uh, I did recognize a few names on the leaderboards and uh, I generally tried to overtake them. Uh, but beyond that, you know, maybe some of the people above me were in the tournament. I guess time will tell. Anyway, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And don't forget that bell to stay up with all of our content here on Virtual Strangers. With that said, friends, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you another day. For another game. Thanks again. Bye-bye.